Hello, it's Mike with NoStressMike.com. I want to go through a little bit on uh, how to make your own beeswax uh, ointments for different reasons. And I want to show you the basics on uh, how to melt everything down, how to mix it, how to get it all together, and uh, get ready to use it. So, here we go. Now this is the wax, uh, beeswax. Okay, I got this, uh, it was raw wheat beeswax. I had to strain it, and all I did is heated it up and uh, poured it through a coffee strainer to strain it. So it's strained and ready to go. Uh, you can buy it already done, and this is the way it'll come. Uh, well, sometimes this way it comes in sheets like this. Uh, it's, I've been paying about, oh, in U.S. dollars, about $10 a pound is what I've been paying for this stuff. And uh, some of the stuff you're going to be needing is uh, stir sticks. And uh, there's some stir sticks. Uh, something to mark, do some marking. Um, I got this. It's just a piece of old paper. And uh, I make my mess on here. It's the lid from a box. So uh, my mess will stay right here. And then our scales, uh, digital scales, uh, works very good. And then uh, you need, I got some old coffee cups that I use to do my mixing. And then uh, when I make big bunches, this is what I make out of big bunches. And that's all I'm going to be making a little bit on uh, uh, some Christmas presents on some uh, uh, what I'll be making is uh, some uh, bars of uh, uh, moisturizer, skin moisturizer, and I'm going to be making it out of that. These are the molds I use, metal metal molds. Uh, but that's one of the things I, I make. And uh, what you're going to be needing is uh, a book to write down your your different formulas and the reason is you'll make a formula now this is all for my uh, skin moisturizers for, for the skin and uh, so I, I make it and this is the way I made it and then I changed it and I changed it and uh, whenever I make one I'll, I'll make another now this one here is completely different here is for skin problems and then uh, but I write it down what I'm doing and what I do is parts most of my parts are uh, ounces, so one ounce uh, or uh, one part would be one ounce, two parts would be two ounces. And then uh, I'll make it and then I'll decide if I like it or not. I need it, it's too hard, too soft, or I want to add more stuff to it, and then I'll make another one out of it. And uh, it just, you just keep going, you just keep uh, improving on it. That's why it's hard to give somebody a formula because what you like may not be the same as what I like. And that's what this is. Now, this one here is, uh, I do Hoi Chi, in which I can find weak organs in the body. And this is uh, ointments that I make uh, with the beeswax uh, that helps the different organs. And uh, some are good. Like I see that one didn't turn out too good, but I still keep it. You still write them down so you don't make the same mistake again. And then, uh, but that, that's it, and then, uh, now mine's color-coded, but uh, even when you get down here, we're talking about the different lip gloss, or uh, lip balms that I've been making, and uh, the kind of stuff that I've been putting in it, and stuff like that. So this is a good way of, of keeping a record on what you have, and uh, how to improve on it. Uh, I also, I use uh, a little mixer, like this, this is what I use to do some little mixing and then uh, I use a regular uh, a bigger mixer for the other ones so uh, that's the basics the stuff you'll need oh, okay and uh, uh, okay now this is iodine and these are different uh, essential oils I use that uh, there's tea tree oil I brought that back from the states and uh, there's different stuff. And here's uh, Epsom salt. I use Epsom salt. And then uh, I use uh, uh, borax uh, for uh, 
borax will be for uh, uh, antifungus, antibacteria kind of stuff. Uh, Epsom salt uh, is for uh, cleansing. I uh, kind of like I use uh, uh, castor oil and uh, olive oil and, and this type of stuff. Uh, anything to take toxins out of the body. Okay. I'm going to take uh, two ounces, two ounces of wax. There it is right there. Okay, I'm going to take the two ounces of wax and get them. So they're going to start, start melting. And as you can see, we've got other, these are other jars, and you see they're marked for the different formulas that I've got. Okay, and I'm going to loosen the lid on this one. This one, these are ready. These are all ready, but I don't know if they're good or not. That's why I make them and leave them in separate containers. And then if I like them, I'll go on and either melt them down like I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, melt that down and uh, get it ready and redo it. Got it. Just sitting there in boiling water. Take a few minutes. Let it get down right now. You can see it's kind of hard still. I just want it softened up some. Now on this formula I'll be needing two ounces of beeswax we already got that now I need two ounces of uh, extra virgin olive oil and once we Z it out we're going to bring it back to zero and then uh, one ounce of uh, uh, almond oil Okay, I'm going to put uh, three of the uh, vitamin E in there. Take a needle and just poke it. Just squeeze it in. What amazed me is when I first started making it, I thought they used a lot of this, but it doesn't take much. Okay, what I put in here was uh, a half an ounce of water, uh, distilled water, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, borax, a little bit of borax uh, for antifungus, antibacteria, vitamin C for antioxidants. Those are water soluble, so we put them in here and now we stir it up. And then we'll add that to our mix after it melts. And we're going to go on and add a half an ounce of uh, honey, raw honey. Okay, we've got the wax melted down now. Now we're going to add the olive oil, um, almond oil, and vitamin E. We had it in the, this has been warmed up. If we put it in cold, it would have already made everything cold already, so, but as you can see, it's still it's still uh, nice and warm. Okay, we've allowed it to cool down some. Okay, now one more little mix for the uh, this one here is the water, honey, uh, vitamin C, and borax. Give it one more good little mixing. Now this is cool, so when we add it to the 
uh, the beeswax mixer is going to really cool it down. So, okay, now that's nice and mixed. Yeah, now we're going to use a bigger mixer. And see, it's already. See, it's getting hard already. Creamy. Now we pour it in. And whatever I got left, I pour into a, a jar. And then I label the jar with the number so I know what it is I have. And I can take out a little bit. I don't have to put it in a mold. I can just take out a little bit, use whatever I want. And then we let dry or let it cool down. And then what we'll end up with is one like this.